Good evening and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where tonight we're going to be taking a walk around downtown Disney here at the Disneyland Resort. Get me in some shops. Charlotte here absolutely loves shopping, don't you? I love shops. Especially at the Disney parks. So we're going to take you for a little tour around, go inside the world of Disney. I can't wait. <laughs> so much great merchandise in there. We'll also have a look at some of the other shops, food and drink options, and then take a little stroll around a couple of the hotels here at the Disneyland Resort as well. Um, so yeah, come and join us for something a little bit different here from the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. Let's go. So we're starting off tonight's vlog here in the Esplanade. You can actually see the entrance there to Disneyland over on the left-hand side with the iconic train station. And here on the right, Disney California Adventure. So yeah, both parks right opposite each other as well, which is cool. <laughs> Charles even did a little song for us, I like that. Here we go. So yeah, you've got the uh, Espinal that's in the middle and literally downtown Disney is just up this way. Uh, and that's what's really great about this resort. Everything is so close, isn't it, Charlotte? Yeah, I love how close everything is. You don't need to get any transport like Walt Disney World around, which is really nice. But yeah, this is literally the entrance up here to downtown Disney. And you've got a really cool little fountain just out the front here as well. So I'll show you that as we're walking up this way. Love these trees with all the lights around at the bottom. And yeah, here we are, literally a 30 second walk from the Esplanade. I'm here at the shops. This is where Charlotte starts running off a little bit now to get the Disney merchandise. <laughs> but yeah, starting off though, you've got the bakery just over here on the left hand side. This is really nice. I've not actually been here this trip, but I have on previous visits. And yeah, in the bakery, you can get loads of nice items, which is cool. <laughs> She's whisking me away. But yeah, it's really handy actually just to nip out here and go to the bakery or any of the other restaurants and bars in the daytime. She's not really taking time out of your day in the parks, to be honest. But yeah, here's that nice little fountain just over here. There we go. Oh. Great, isn't it? And yeah, they're not actually running at the time of recording this, but they're going to be back soon. The parking trolleys actually pick up just over there. You know, the parking trolleys will take you back to the car parks. The parking trolleys. Hang on a minute. You say you love the parking trolleys. You've never actually been on them, Charlotte. I know, but I bought the model from Walt Disney World. <laughs> you did indeed. But yeah, it's really nice down here. And as I mentioned at the start, we're going to be taking a look in a couple of the hotels. We've got three hotels here. Uh, we're going to be taking a look in the Disneyland Hotel and also the main Grand Californian. And that's actually part of the hotel, just at the top there. Fun fact for you, above the world of Disney. Now, this is the largest shop on property. So yeah, it's absolutely massive in here. So yeah, we're going to go and take a look inside and see some of the merchandise that's an offer in the world of Disney. At the time of recording this, January 2022. Well, there's only one Mickey Mouse, and he's here at Disneyland. There we go, that's a nice shirt, isn't it? Take you for a little stroll around. It's massive in here, isn't it? It is really busy. You gotta think the parks have just closed. Look at this. If you do want a quieter shopping experience, coming out in the daytime is a good idea, isn't it? Just coming out a little stroll around. It is heaving. Well, there are two types of people, Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. That's a nice shirt. $24.99 just up there. What else we got? That's quite a nice one, $24.99. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? With the classic Disneyland logo. Oh, I love it. Where dreams come true. We love this one, $36.99. To be honest, I may even get this whilst we're here I this really trip. I like that. Yeah, exactly. it's beautiful, isn't it? With the classic Disneyland sign with the flagpoles. As much as the sign doesn't exist here at Disneyland anymore, as you're going to see later in this vlog, at the swimming pool of the Disneyland Hotel, they've got a more uh, modern version of that now that they've kind of brought back. So yeah, we're going to take a look at that. Now, Charlotte here is a huge fan of lounge fly bags. I love them, but I haven't seen one I like this trip. No, there's quite a few on offer here. This one here is $75, so they are really expensive. Charlotte, though, has actually got one on your back. There you go, that was just from the Disney store back in the UK, but it is a Disney Parks one, as you can see on there as well. Really nice. But yeah, it's absolutely massive here. Like I say, this is the biggest Disney shop you're gonna find anywhere at the Disneyland Resort. Goes all the way down that way. And yeah, there's so much to see. You got all the ears over there, T-shirts over here, so much. Oh, look at these Minnie Mouse ears just over here with Disneyland on. Nothing priced on there though, which is a shame. Like, quite a few items I've found. I haven't this got prices on. This annoys me when you're a lady and you have ears. Look how long that tag is. Things, you can just chop it off, can't you? Yeah, I cut mine off. Yeah, that's the best thing to do. Well, we've got this lovely Disneyland jacket just here. That's really nice, $59.99. Yeah, I don't I think like that's that. too bad. Waterproof and it is embroidered as well. You gotta think, you know, you are paying for the quality with that, aren't you? I try and go for things that are embroidered, you know, instead of something that's just gonna peel off or wash off. That's quite nice with the hood just on there. 
So of course another big thing at the Disney parks are the spirit jerseys. Of course Charlotte's got a couple of these as well. Oh, no, but the issue is that I've got with these, the material at the back's not that good. Yeah, like, again you want to be getting stuff what's better quality and properly I don't embroidered. Think that would wash very well. But yeah, $74.99. You've got to think we are in the States as well. Things are plus tax. So yeah, you need to make sure that you know you're getting the things right. But it's nice on the front. The D for Disneyland there, and yeah, it's all down the arm. But yeah, I do like the spirit jerseys. Yeah, 74 99 you want to make sure that you, you know, you're getting something that's going to last. Yeah, it's very open, very contemporary design in here now. They tended to strip back quite a lot of the theming a few years ago with the redo and replaced it with the projections, like you can see just up at the top there. But you've got so much in here, absolutely loads. I quite like some of these shirts over here though. You also got the Castle playset. Charlotte got me the Walt Disney World 50th Castle playset actually. For Christmas, which was beautiful, yeah, and that's in my collection. You might have seen a picture over on our socials, which is really nice. I have already got a Disneyland castle though, it's quite nice, isn't it? Lots of the park icons on there, lots of classics the Mark Twain, Matterhorn, Space Mountain, of course, the castle, and the spirit jersey, and yeah, more of a classic design shirt. That one, loads of the characters on there, the happiest place on earth. That's quite nice. We got a price on there for you. There we go, $24.99. I don't think that's too bad. Oh, look at these cookie jars here, $59.99. They're quite nice, aren't they? I do feel like it's a bit bottom heavy though when you look at it from that angle. It'd be better if that was a bit taller or the bottom section a bit smaller. Single rider t shirt down here as well, $24.99. There you go, single rider. That's good. It's quite a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Single rider, I like that. All day, every day, 24 7, 365. Well, that's quite a nice design as well. I've got some really good t-shirts. Not too expensive on the t-shirts either. How much is that one? Tends to be 20. Yeah, 25 seems to be like the standard really for a lot of your t-shirts. You've got a big soul section in here. You've also got the Avengers Campus section as well. Lots of Avengers merchandise. But yeah, of course, the Avengers Campus with web slingers. There's a big focus with that being the new area in Disney California Adventure. Check out that vlog if you haven't already seen it. Yeah, some really nice stuff. So you've got some more of the ears just over here, or as Disney call them, headbands, $29.99. But yeah, you've got loads of choice just there. Nice big ears sign at the top as well. All the hats just over here. Yeah, there's so much in here. Got the smaller items though. You've got a lot of bigger items too. Depending on what you fancy, really. Oh, some really cool stuff over here in the mug section. I saw these the other day and really like these. So yeah, I showed you um, this biscuit tin earlier on just over there, like the cookie jar. We've also got a Space Mountain one just down here as well. Look at that. How nice is that? That is amazing. And then you've also got the smaller cup just here as well. Oh, they're so cool. So it's $32.99 for the big one. And then you've got $22.99 for the small one. So you may as well go for the big one down there. Glasses. Glasses, 9 yeah, Disneyland Resort on there as well. And yeah, here's the mug section just over here. I wish they'd do a bit more attraction merchandise now. I mean, I've got to say, you know, they don't tend to do as much attraction stuff now. Everything has got characters on. And I know we're at Disneyland, you know, you expect characters, but it was nice how sometimes they did some other things. I'd love just like a, a Matterhorn range, you know, it'd be lovely. Um, more stuff like that would be really nice, just came in for everybody. This is really nice though. Conqueror of the Mountains, please remain seated, just in the top there. $19.99. I have noticed though, over the past kind of six months how a lot of merchandise prices have really started to go up. That much so that it is a little bit off-putting now with some of the stuff. Yeah, some things have just got way too expensive. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I love Disney, yeah, we both do, but yeah, some of the stuff's really pricey. Towels are nice there. $29.99 though, for a towel, you know. It's only to dry yourself, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, here's a little look inside the world of Disney then for you all. We're gonna head outside shortly and continue having a walk up. But it just gives you an idea on the size of it. It is huge in here. It really is. And yeah, there's some nice items. For me, I really like them cookie jars, Charlotte. Yeah, they're cute, oh, beautiful they are. But yeah, we're gonna head outside now and we'll take you for a stroll continuing up through downtown Disney. Starbucks coffee then, just over there to the left-hand side. And yeah, I do like all the trees with the twinkling lights in there. Yeah, the architecture and design of it around here is beautiful. All the rocks there. 
nice waterfalls. Yeah, you got an outdoor dining restaurant just here with an outdoor bar that's really nice. Beautiful. Naples restaurant and bar just over there. Sunglasses Hut just over there. So yeah, it's not all just Disney shops here. You've got a few other things as well. Curl Surf, never heard of them before. I've heard of the one next door though, Pandora of course. They never seem to be open on a night though, so if you do want Pandora, of course they are in the parks as well, but yeah, probably just in the daytime here in downtown Disney. Shake Place, Jamba next door, then that's only open in the daytime, which I'm surprised about to be honest, because you look how many people are about. They'd be getting so much profit. Yeah, it seems really strange to me. Sephora just over there. See, yeah, I was mentioning before about the Grand California. It's all just at the top here, and that's actually an entrance to it just down in that direction. So yeah, I think we'll go and take a little look inside there on our way down. But yeah, you can see there's some more shops just over there. California Soul Shoe Shop, Pizzeria just over there as well. Yeah, it's very nice around here with all the design and architecture. Should we go and have a little look inside the Grand California? Which is just down here to the left-hand side. And we'll come back in and carry on walking down in that direction. Right then, here's a look inside Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. This is the premium hotel here at the Disneyland Resort. Yeah, it's very nice. I'd love to stay here at some point in the future. You get some great views looking out into the Grizzly Peak area of Disney California Adventure. And yeah, the main lobby is just up in this direction, so we'll take a look. Wow, look at this grand atrium here. All the reception desk just off to the right. Love the lamps on there. And yeah, here's a look inside this huge atrium. It is beautiful in here. I like how they've got all the seating just down the bottom. There's a piano over there as well. Real shiny, clean floors. Yeah, beautiful in here. It's like a big lodge. Charlotte said something quite interesting though, didn't he, about what it reminds you of? It's quite a lodge. It does, which is at Disneyland Paris. Yeah. Beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? I really nice. And we've got a gift shop. There we go. <laughs> Charlotte loves the shops, can you tell? Yeah, I do love the style of it in here. Really nice. Got the fire going just over there as well. Beautiful. Yeah, there's also a huge outdoor swimming pool here as well. You can just see it actually from inside the park. It looks really nice. Would love to stay here in the future. As I'm sure you can imagine, it's very expensive. But the good thing is you can just walk around, come and take it in have a little stroll around the hotels. Just out the back of the hotel now then, and here's a look at part of the swimming pool. It does also extend around to the right hand side, but you can't quite see it from this angle. Here you've also got a bar and restaurants just over there as well. But yeah, a lot of these balconies that you can see are the ones that are actually looking out towards the park. So if you were looking at staying here, you can actually just see the top over there with the flashing lights of the Pixar Pal Around, which is the big Ferris wheel in Disney California Adventure. So if you're staying in any of these rooms with these balconies, you're gonna get a fantastic view. And when World of Colors actually back on, I believe you can see it from a lot of these balconies, which that'd is nice. That'd be really nice to see. Yeah, that'd be lovely. But yeah, you got one of the restaurants over here as well. Really do like the design of it, gorgeous hotel really is but yeah we're gonna have a little stroll down this way and that is the beauty of this resort you know there's no need to get a bus on the morning literally if you're staying here it's actually got its own gate into California Adventure at this park I've got to say, the Grand Californian Hotel and Spa really is gorgeous and it is a bucket list of mine to stay there one day, I would like really to. Really nice inside. However, you don't really need to stay on site here at Disneyland because it is a small resort, everything's so close. We're staying off site, as you've probably seen in our video. And uh, yeah, we're there, we're only like 10 minute walk in the park. Yeah, it's not far at all. Not at all, you know, and Anaheim's really nice out there anyway. So it's one of them, isn't it? You've got to weigh up the options. I have priced it up here before and it can be sometimes over $500 a night. Oh, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for a 10 minute walk, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So uh, yeah, let's continue on having a little walk around downtown Disney. Love all the twinkling trees just up there. Yeah, the vibes are great around here. Very nice atmosphere, which I love. And it gets very busy after the park's close. But as you can see, you've got some more shops just over here. The Disney dress shop just over there. And yeah, you've also got Marceline's Confectionery, which is basically a bit like the Main Street Bakery, to be honest. Um, you've got all of your different treats in there, including Mickey cookies. Oh, I love those. 
Sean and Charlotte, and Charlotte favourites. They're so good. Yeah, and they're uh, just under six dollars, including it's like tax. Five forty nine, and then you just got to add your tax on. Yeah, and they are massive so as well, which is good. You are getting your money's worth with them. You are. Like, we've seen like the toffee apples. They're at, like thirteen or something. Yeah, it's a lot of money for those, really. I think so too. And you can get a nice big uh, Mickey biscuit. But yeah, you've got that here as well. So if you do crave your Mickey biscuits and treats, you can also come down here to downtown Disney. Yeah, you've got actually a lot of sit-down restaurants here. There's not loads in terms of quick service. Uh, personally, and Charles the same, we like our quick service, don't we? Do. we? I like just to be in, out. Done. Yeah, food isn't a huge part of the experience for us, is it? Not you know, we're just not them sort of people. We like uh, the quick service. Just like to be quick. Yeah, so there's not really loads that we no, like food-wise here. I like the Earl of Sandwich, but that's going to be closing soon. Yeah, so. it is. Yeah, by the time this goes out, that's probably going to be short. Food. Yeah, for future expansion. They're going to be doing a lot of changes around here. You get pretzel just over there, that's a little quick service. But yeah, you've got quite a few different restaurants as you can see there at the top. What I really do like over here though is the outdoor bar that you can see, which is really nice, all there in the middle. You know, you've got a few other places, you've got sprinkles just over there, um, there's another clothes shop just over there as well. Yeah, there's a lot around here, you know, which is really good. A lot of choice. I just think it'd be nice to have some more quick service. They used to actually have one of my favourites here, the Rainforest Cafe, but they closed that a few years ago. Yeah, they had a really nice Rainforest Cafe. We did T-Rex though in Florida, didn't we? Yes, we did Disney Springs, that. yeah, and that's owned by the same company. Craft Burgers. But yeah, again, a lot of these are sit-down restaurants. I know a lot of people like a sit-down uh, meal. It's just not really our sort of thing, to be honest, you know. Um, but yeah, it's not for everyone, is it? I'm in a big sit-down dinner we come to the parks and stuff we, we like to get on as much as we can and you know Keep on yeah, yeah that's the thing food just isn't a massive part of the parks for us you know it never has been and it probably won't be you know we try and show you as many options as we can uh, hence why we're doing this video tonight showing you what there is available you know but um yeah a big pot restaurant isn't really our cup of tea but yeah i do like the uh, the bar just out there all sorts of cocktails i have had a cocktail from there before it was very nice we're gonna have a little look inside here i think you've got the uh, disney home store so yeah i think there's some nice items just in here so we're going to have a little stroll through came in here the other night and there were some lovely bits have a look in the gallery next door as well here you go you can get an it's a small world stacking blocks at just there and also one for the castle as well 32 pieces for both of them got them shot glasses in here as well that we saw over in the world of disney and yeah it looks like they're trying to sell some of the holiday stuff in here now even though the holidays have gone can't see any discounts though. I do like this. $49.99 for the Mickey Mouse wreath just there, which is lovely. Yeah, I really do like that. Season's greetings. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Mickey and Minnie and the castle. Holiday chair. Got a few haunted mansion items in here as well. I do like the picture frame just there. Yeah. I like the Oogie Mouse. <laughs> oh, there he is. These are uh, great ornaments for the Christmas tree. Hello, there we go, the actual doom buggy itself there. How yeah. nice is that? Love that, we got a price on there. I can just see it at the top. $24.99, probably the most expensive ornament you're gonna buy for your Christmas tree, that is, isn't yeah, it? I yeah, <laughs> Nice though, they've actually got a bigger selection of haunted mansion items and just inside the park in New Orleans Square, inside the shop there. But yeah, they've also got a few items here as well. And look at this huge collection of baubles, ornaments, wow, all the way across just here. I love these, some of the Main Street buildings, Main Street Cinema just there, $29.99. Country Bear Jamboree, not here at Disneyland anymore, but yeah, of course, you can still get that attraction in Magic Kingdom, Walt Disney World, the happiest place on earth. That's nice, isn't it, with the castle, $22.99. They are expensive, and fun fact for you, I used to collect these. I've got quite a big collection, about 15. However, back then, it used to be about $8.99 shows how much the prices have gone up like we said earlier in the world of disney you know this past six months we tend to see a lot of price increases that have been made across the parks yeah some lovely ornaments just down here really nice stuff oh there we go it spins round if i'm paying that much though i won't want to be spinning it round i won't want to damage it <laughs> this is also one of my favorites the bullseye oh you love bullseye don't you that's lovely oh with a wreath round as well i like how buzz has got a scarf on 
Yeah, it's quite a fun intake. Yeah, it's quite a fun intake. Muppet Vision 3D, Space Mountain one just there. That's really nice. We got price wise. <laughs> it's nice that isn't it? Thirty four ninety nine. Like that is very expensive. You know, some beautiful stuff, but blimey, you know, some of the stuff now is getting extortionate prices. That I would look at it and think, oh yeah, I'll have it, but not now with how much the prices are. Soaring just there, clear for takeoff. Beautiful stuff, but yeah, prices have really increased so much. Yeah, I'll have a look in the gallery next door now. I think show you what's in there. I was going to take a look inside there, but it's closed. I'm not too sure why. And uh, yeah, downtown Disney's advertised to be open until 12. But yeah, it's ages gone like nine o'clock. What's going on? I'm not too sure why. But yeah, here's a look just out here at some more of the lovely lights. <laughs> You've got Splitsville just over there. Luxury lanes, that's bowling. And yeah, really fancy bowling alley as well. Very nice in there. Tortilla Joe's just over there, another restaurant. And yeah, you've also got the Jazz Kitchen just over here. That looks very nice. I've never actually been in. But yeah, this place looks really nice. It's kind of like New Orleans Square with the balcony that's at the top there. It's like you can actually go and sit on those, which is really cool. Just coming into view down the bottom, you can see the famous Disneyland Hotel over there as well. Yeah, that place looks quite nice over there. I do like it around here. But yeah, Splitsville just over there. And like I say, that's a, a bowling alley, very fancy bowling alley just over there. And yeah, here's a look. Just out the front of the uh, Jazz Kitchen. Yeah, very nice. Got some good theming out the front as well, which is cool. As you can see just here, live music nightly, it says. Yeah, I've never been in, but it looks really nice, this place. So you don't actually realise it with how they set this up with the theming and the planting. There's actually a road right underneath us now. Yeah, we're walking across the road and we've got the Lego store just over here. So yeah, we'll go and take a look inside the Lego store and see what they've got here. We've also got the monorail station there as well. That actually takes you directly straight into Disneyland Park, the monorail, which is really cool. We've had a few rides on the monorail whilst we've been here, which has been awesome. But yeah, like you don't tend to get off at this station unless you want to have a little walk around downtown Disney in the daytime. Um, but yeah, it's quite handy. They've actually got some turnstiles just over there. And uh, yeah, you can get the monorail straight over into the park. There's Woody and Buzz at the top there. You got RC down the bottom there. Made of Lego bricks. But yeah, let's go have a little look inside, see if there's any specials for Disneyland. Here we go. Here's a nice little Disneyland special down there, as you can see. The Disneyland Castle inspirational model that you can see over there. And Forky, just next to it, just there on the right hand side as well. This is what Charlotte really wants there, don't you? Oh! So bad. <laughs> oh. So nice. That badly the old tits over in front of you. No. There you go. It's nice. However, my one issue with it is it hasn't got a back. No, it hasn't. That's like, the worst thing. Yeah, it's it. just open, which, you know, if I'm paying that much, I'd like a, a back for it, to be honest. Got Genie just up there as well. How many thousand Lego bricks on there? Wow. And there's the magic carpet, Aladdin and Jasmine on there. Yeah, not loads of unique things to Disneyland inside the Lego store there. Oh, it's always nice to have a little walk through and see what they've got, because I absolutely love Lego. Unfortunately, I just don't have the time to actually make anything with it. You can just see over there on the right hand side, another look at the monorail station. And yeah, basically everything this side of the monorail track is going to be changing or closing in the near future. They're making a lot of changes down here uh, to downtown Disney, all part of the Disneyland Forward project. So yeah, it'll be really interesting to see because a few years back they actually released plans that we're going to build another hotel kind of right here and have the monorail running through it, a bit like the contemporary at Walt Disney World. But yeah, then plans have uh, changed now and they've gone with something a little bit different. Uh, that they're going to be doing so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing it they're kind of going to be expanding both parks and it looks like maybe putting in second entrances to both disney california adventure and disneyland down here in the future kind of off to the side so yeah it'll be interesting to see what they do Earl of Sandwich just down there. It's going to be closing shortly. It Not is indeed. Long to go. Yeah, and I believe Starbucks is as well. And uh, yeah, everything down this end, basically. Shame, really, but everything has to move on. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure there'll be some new bits coming in. The monorail's about to go into refurbishment, so they can actually demolish that building at the back just over there. Um, so yeah, that's quite an interesting one for you. This used to be Rainforest Cafe, just over here on the right. It's not anymore. It's Star Wars Trading Post that also looks closed, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, you can just tell looking at the style of the building. 
But yeah, it used to be a rainforest cafe. But yeah, that's just been a temporary Star Wars um, shop now for a little while. But again, I believe that's going to be closing and pretty much everything down here. Yeah, all these buildings, all going to be demolished in the uh, near future, really. So it is going to be a bit of a construction site around here whilst they do all of that. However, you have got the Disneyland Hotel down here. That at first glance, it may not look that impressive. And I'll be honest with you, the actual building itself really isn't that impressive compared to, say, the Grand Floridian um, Resort and Spa, you know, which is the big signature hotel at Walt Disney World. However, this is the original Disneyland Hotel, you know, so you gotta bear that in mind. Yes, it's had some tweaks over the years, um, some changes, towers have been completely rebuilt. However, and this is the Disneyland Hotel, and there's some really nice items that I just want to show you in this vlog. Um, you've also got Trader Sam's down here as well, which is a brilliant tiki bar, which is beautifully themed. You've got all the fire effects. There's an awesome monorail-themed swimming pool down here, and a few other bits. Yeah, we'll take a little stroll down into the Disneyland Hotel. But yeah, there's a look um, really at uh, downtown Disney. You know, what do you think to it? It's okay. I think I prefer Disney Springs maybe because there's a few more shops. Obviously at Walt Disney World. But still it's nice. I just feel like they need some more quick service food around it to be honest. Yeah, definitely. I'd love to see a bit more quick service. A bit more quick service is needed. Yeah, definitely. But uh, here we go. We'll make our way down this way. And yeah, you can just see the Sorcerer Hat over there with the lights on. That's the Disneyland Hotel. So let's go and have a look. And here we go. Here's a close-up look at the entrance. And yeah, the huge Sorcerer and Mickey hat, Tinkerbell up there as well. That's my new hat. <laughs> yeah, massive hat for Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at the size of it. There you go, I like all the strobes on it as well. Cover me. So yeah, this is iconic, this hotel. Like, you gotta bear that in mind, it's I old. I don't even know what it looks like inside. Yeah, it is nice, you know. I mean, obviously I've never stayed here. I'd like to again at some point in the future. Um, but this is really iconic piece of Disney history here. Disney's first ever hotel. And fun fact for you, actually, when this was first built, it wasn't actually owned by Disney, which is quite an interesting one for you. But yeah, we'll have a little look inside the lobby and I'll show you these little historical finds they've got. Then we'll take a little look over at the monorail swimming pool. Uh, it's just coming into view over there in the distance. You can just see the old school sign with the monorail trains. And then you've got Trader Sam's Tiki Bar over there. And there's also a really good model that I want to show you as well. So we'll go and take a look at that in just a moment. So model of Big Thunder Mountain, which is really cool. So yeah, we'll go and have a little look at that. Here we are then, so welcome to the inside of the historic Disneyland Hotel. And yeah, we start off here by taking a look at all of these photos. Walt Disney himself just there, looking at the plans for Disneyland. Of course, groundbreaking down here, the monorail opening just over there. Walt standing there on Main Street, USA. Wow. And that's what makes this place special. This is the authentic original you know disneyland here in anaheim amazing yeah i do love all these photos how cool is this charlotte yeah i know looking back through history it just feels so homely as well when you look at all this which is amazing it really is it's a small world just there we was riding that earlier today you know it's amazing original disney attractions oh i love it and yeah just around the corner here you got this amazing map which is really cool Come and take a look at this. Wow. See how different sections light up. There's Tinkerbell with the pixie dust. And there you go, different sections come alive, which is really nice. All the lights kind of built into it. And we're down here at the Disneyland Hotel. Yeah, it's an old school map, of course, of the park, which is beautiful. It really is. In fact, if I stand a little bit further back, I think the lighting will look a little bit better on there. There we go. How nice is that? Oh, I love it. Yeah, you can see like a design, a future design for how Space Mountain was going to look. How interesting is that with all the track just outside the actual show building itself? Beautiful, it really is. You can see like the original Fantasyland up there at the top as well with the big pirate ship. Of course, all that kind of changed over the years. Things got redone and rebuilt. No Galaxy's Edge up there. But yeah, how amazing is that? Well, Charlotte is really happy with what she just found here in the shop at the Disneyland Hotel. Right, so if you watch the vlog from Disneyland day one, you'll know I've been after a keyring, and I've found it. 
It's the trash can clearing. We can tell you've been in America for a while, Charlotte. They call it a trash can. How there you go. How cute is that? I hope it is for $10. It oh. was $10.76, but look how cute it is. Charlotte has had me go around every single every shop trying to get shop that. Every shop for this. So I'm really happy that she's managed to find it. It's the Main Street USA bin, everybody. There you go. Look at that. It's been a bit of a close-up on the bin just there. There so you go. Cute. <laughs> Right, Charlotte, are you ready to see something a bit terrifying what? What that you it? never thought you were going to see on display in a Disney park? And I actually don't even know what's coming up. She doesn't have a clue. Have a look in here. Can you see something that might terrify you? An old Mickey Mouse mask. Oh, what is that? Look at this. This is like a mini Disney archive. Look at this, what they used to sell. That's horrible. I love how they still can't it on show. You could buy that Mickey Mouse mask. I wouldn't buy that. There you go. How awesome is that? <laughs> but yeah, this look is like a this proper merch. archive. Uh, how amazing is this? There's all sorts. There's cast member name badges, park maps, plush toys, tankards, mugs, books, key rings, magnets, monorail game just up there. Look at that. How cool is this? Jigsaw puzzles. I love how they've got this all on display. The Main Street Electrical Parade, that's going to be coming back soon as well. Oh, but yeah, look at this. Look at all this good stuff. Right, I tell you what, there's a lot of money's worth of stuff in that glass Definitely, cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of money's worth of stuff in there. But yeah, it's just crazy, isn't it? Disneyland the game just up there. Let me stand a little bit further back just to give you a perspective on that. There you go. Wow. It's like the world of theme parks, but even more crazy, the fact that it's all old Disneyland items. How cool is that? That's lovely, that is. That's amazing. You've also got Disneyland Hotel through the decades as well. It gives you all the information, 70s and 80s. You can see there the fireworks That's through the gaps the just there. Isn't it? Yeah, it is hidden Mickey, I think, right there. Yeah. But yeah, you can see so much um, of what this hotel used to be like. Here we go. Here's a great photo. So this over here now, I was telling this to Charlotte, actually. Uh, the monorail track's not changed, but that now is Disney California Adventure. Oh, yeah. So as you can see, that used to be the old Disneyland parking lot. And here's the hotel just here. Of course, still standing to this day. However, they're doing some work over here as well that we will show you when we head outside. I'll tell you what though, the hotel looked like it was more of an attraction back in the day. They used to have pedlos out there. The rowing boat. Yeah, the hotel. Yeah. Wow. Like, really interesting how much history the Disneyland Hotel has got. Unfortunately, it has lost a lot of that character it used to have. However, things do have to move on, don't they, you know? But yeah, look at this out here. With all the boats and it was something completely different. They used to actually have a, a fountain show here. I mean, they've got World of Colour now in the parks, but uh, yeah, crazy. The 50s and 60s just over here, so going back even further, looking at the Disneyland Hotel. It didn't actually just used to be the big blocks. It started off with like all of these different areas, mini golf course just there as well. And there's that iconic sign just over there. But I'm glad they've kind of redone one of those outside, as you'll see shortly. And yeah, here's a little bit of information all about the Rathas, the founders of the Disneyland Hotel. So as I mentioned a few minutes ago, it wasn't actually owned by uh, Walt Disney at first because obviously he pumped all of his money into Disneyland, couldn't afford the hotel. So yeah, he actually got Jack Ratha um, to open the hotel. And here's all the information, of course, um, all about it. And there's Walt Disney himself just over there on the right. Fascinated. Even the hotel here has got so much history to it. A lot of people think, oh, Disneyland, it's the original park. It was also the first ever Disney hotel, the first resort, which is... so much in there, isn't there it? There is, yeah. You've also got an old Autopia car just down here, which is nice. Steakhouse 55 over there. 55 because of 1955, of course, when Disneyland first opened its doors. Yeah, Autopia car. A bit of information about Autopia through the decades just there. There's all sorts of things throughout the hotel like this, which is really nice. So authentic, which is cool. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna head outside now. We'll go through these doors here, and yeah, we'll show you this uh, monorail swimming pool, Trader Sam's, and we'll kind of end over by this huge model of Big Thunder Mountain that is absolutely awesome. It's on another level. I'm just so happy that Charlotte actually got what she wanted. Honestly, I'm absolutely <laughs> ecstatic with it. Search for days. So here's a look just outside. So you've got the Adventure Tower, the Fantasy Tower, and the Frontier Tower. And they're actually building a new Disney Vacation Club Tower just off to the right-hand side. So they've done a bit of um, demolition work, and yeah, they're building that at the moment. 
Well, it's had so many changes through the years, this courtyard, as you saw just from the photos. But you know what? It's still beautiful now in its own way. You've got this huge swimming pool. Obviously, they used to have an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Now it's more themed and relaxation pools with hot tubs. And I bet it's lovely out here when the sun's shining down. Yeah, I bet it's lovely. It is a gorgeous swimming pool. But this really gets me over here. I love this to bits. Yeah. So yes, at the side of the road, there used to be a huge Disneyland sign. You've probably seen it in the Imagineering story uh, that was on Disney Plus, the fantastic documentary that I really recommend as uh, you're into the history of this place. And uh, yeah, also you've probably seen it on old photos, postcards. They used to have a Disneyland sign at the side of the road. It was demolished quite a long time ago. However, when they redid the pools here, they put like a new version of it up at the top there and also the monorail there which are actually slides which is really cool you can just see the slides coming out the bottom of the monorails um, which is absolutely amazing like, I love that but yeah the new DVC tower there's some concept art for it around the corner so we'll have a look it's gonna be built just there in that gap so um, yeah you know, as much as it might not be a huge glamorous hotel I still think it's really beautiful um, looking at it you know which is lovely and yeah you'll get some great views looking over the whole resort as well oh how nice is this Look at all the flames, all the fire torches around. Oh, it's so nice. Here yeah, you've got this outdoor bar area, some live music here as well. so beautiful out here and you've also got the iconic Trader Sands it's located in the Polynesian at Walt Disney World but it's actually just there on the left hand side Trader Sands at the moment looks like you're going to be going around to the left normally you're going through the door just there however I think with Covid they've changed kind of like the entrance to it yeah it's lovely what do you think to it around here yeah this is really nice around here so chilled out definitely chilled out by all the palm trees just what you want after a long day in Disneyland really nice. Yeah, and just sit down and relax out here. Nice big fire. But yes, I'm going to take you for a little stroll down here off the beaten track now, because obviously unless you were staying here, you might not walk here. Worth pointing out that you can just walk into the hotels if you're coming from downtown Disney. However, if you try coming in from the main road on the side gates, you do actually need a room key to come in. But yeah, if you're coming in actually from within Disney property itself, then yeah, you're absolutely fine, you know, just to, uh, to walk in and have a little look around. You don't need to be staying. But yeah, you can just see what I'm about to show you. The big finale to this vlog, I've been building it up. Trust me, it's worth it, especially if you're a fan of Big Thunder Mountain and it's in the Frontier Tower. Yeah, I did mention a few minutes ago how they're doing a new DVC tower. That's what you can see just going up over here. So yeah, this is for Disney Vacation Club. And yeah, it's a brand new tower. You can see all the balconies just over there. Yeah, and that's currently being built. Are you ready to see this, Charlotte? Yeah, I'm just seeing a sneak. Oh, I mean, you're a big Thunder Mountain fan, aren't I you? I love Big Thunder Mountain. Wow, well, let's head inside here and go and see this. It's amazing, this. And here we go. Look at this absolutely awesome model of Big Thunder Mountain. Of course, it opened in Disneyland Park in 1979. And yeah, look at this model. It is absolutely huge as well, isn't it? What do you think to that? Look at all the little people in the train. <laughs> this is lovely. It's so nice, isn't it? It's well worth taking a little stroll into here just to see the model. All the Rainbow Ridge just at the top there. Of course, the station and the queue line area down there as well. And yeah, this really just shows the scale of this attraction, doesn't it, as well? Uh, all the rocks, all the time and engineering that went into it. But yeah, it's just well worth coming into here to take a little look. There's all the station area. Wow. Take for a little stroll around this side as well to so see you can see it. You don't really get this angle from inside the park. There you go. Yeah, just all the time that went into the model, you know, but you've got to think, these are engineering masterpieces, you know. Look at this. It's breathtaking. It really makes you appreciate, you know, how much time and detail goes into creating these attractions, doesn't it? It's brilliant. There we go, and it's massive as well. There you go, Charlotte's standing next to it. There you go. It is absolutely huge. What a way to wrap up this vlog, a little look around the hotels here at the Disneyland Resort. Don't forget, you've also got the Paradise Pier Hotel. However, that actually wasn't a Disney hotel when it was built, but they actually bought it. It's not particularly heavily themed inside. However, again, I bet you get some nice views looking out towards Disney California Adventure, but there's nothing really we can access to walk around and see. Well, that's the go, that's actually on the ride, that's isn't it? The go. It's in the place. 
But yeah, you know, we would have gone for a stroll in there, but there's nothing to really show you that's very exciting. It's all here in the Disneyland Hotel. And of course, where we took you inside the Grand Californian as well. Well, there we go, a nice tour around downtown Disney and also taking a look inside a couple of the hotels here as well. It's been a nice evening, hasn't it? It's been really nice. I've enjoyed seeing the hotel. I know what Charlotte's highlight's been, though. It's in Buying that bag. Buying this trash can Kieran. Oh, we're not even joking, man. I think Charlotte has been in every single shop here at the Disneyland look Resort. Look how cute it is. <laughs> it's lovely. You've been looking for it, like, out of I've everything. I've been in every shop every day to find it and I didn't find it until now. I'm so glad we came to the Disneyland Hotel but yeah of course Trader Sam's is always a highlight a really nice area there chilled out with all the flame effects I'd love to stay in these hotels but like I said earlier on you just don't really need to unless you really want that extra mile experience I agree, yeah. you know um, you can just walk down the road 10-15 minutes and there's so many amazing hotels all around Anaheim as well oh, but don't get me wrong one day I would love to stay in these but it's certainly not something that you need to do whereas Walt Disney World I would say the opposite i think it's really nice yeah. if you can spend the extra to stay on site definitely uh, mainly because of the transport around whereas here you know you don't need to get ferry boats monorails buses everything's just within a nice proximity Which is nice you um, can walk. yeah it's very similar to disneyland paris even smaller actually than the disneyland paris resorts you know um as much as there's a lot more here um everything's a lot more compact and walkable which is fantastic definitely but uh, there we go make sure you check out our other various disney vlogs here from california in anaheim and uh, yeah if you haven't already seen them here on theme park worldwide but so uh, there we go charlotte's got a trash can I'm so she's happy. really happy and that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding we'll see you tomorrow